We were asked to solve the given equation using the construction and deconstruct story, also known as the story of the variable or the story of x. To begin, we will write the steps that form the construction of the equation based upon the operations being performed on the variable b. Then we'll write the deconstruct story, which are the steps that will undo the construction of the equation and solve for the variable b. So to write the construction story, we begin with the variable b. Looking inside the parentheses, we have b divided by two minus four. Remember a fraction bar means division, and therefore the first step in the construction story is divide by two. If we divide b by two, this gives us the expression b divided by two. Inside the parentheses, we now have minus four, which means step two is subtract four. So if we subtract four from this quotient, we now have the expression b divided by two minus four. For step three, notice how this difference is being multiplied by negative three. Step three in the construction story is multiply by negative three. If we multiply this difference by negative three, we really have this difference times negative three, but using the commutative property of multiplication, we can change the order of the product and write the product as negative three times the quantity b divided by two minus four. Going back to the equation, we have equals five, which means the result of performing these operations on the variable is five. So the result is five, which gives us the complete construction of the equation, which is negative three times the quantity b divided by And now we need to undo the first step in the construction story to get the last step or third step in the deconstruct story. To undo division by two, we multiply by two. Again, multiplying by two will undo or perform the opposite operation of dividing by two. So these three steps will be the steps we perform on both sides of the given equation to get back to b or to solve the equation for b. So beginning with the given equation, the first step is to divide both sides by negative three. On the left, negative three divided by negative three simplifies to one. The left simplifies to b divided by two minus four. On the right, we have negative five-thirds. The second step to solve for b is add four to both sides. On the left, minus four plus four simplifies to zero. We have b divided by two equals, let's find this sum down here. We have negative five thirds plus four, or plus four over one. The least common denominator is three. We multiply four over one by three over three. This gives us negative five-thirds plus twelve-thirds, which equals seven-thirds. So the right side of the equation is now equal to seven-thirds. The last step in the deconstruct story is multiply by two. So now we multiply both sides of the equation by two. We are changing the order of the multiplication here using the commutative property. And because both sides of the equation are in fraction form, we could write two as a fraction with a denominator of one. Simplifying before multiplying, two divided by two simplifies to one. One times b is b. 
on the right. Nothing simplifies. We multiply the numerators and denominators, which gives us 14 thirds. So the solution to the given equation is 14 thirds. To verify this is the solution, we would need to substitute 14 thirds for b in the original equation, then simplify the left side to verify it is equal to the right side of the equation, which is five. I'll leave that check for you. I hope you found this helpful.